Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today is just a laid back, simple video. I wanted to share some goodies that I received in the mail. One is an order and one is some happy mail from one of my patrons, Jade. She sends me stuff all the time and it's really sweet and it's always such sweet things that I just wanna share with you. Let's start with this right here. So, I don't think she minds that I share, but um, she sent me this really cute tag, which actually inspired me. I'm going, I want to make some like these. And then I love that she also gives me some, oh, sorry, it was actually in, I already opened this, obviously. It was in this, like, glassine bag. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost certain that she made it, and that is what inspired me. That's right. I wanted to make some of these myself. I think she maybe used, like, some, uh, I forgot what, vellum, and then decorated this, and it's so cute. So thank you so much, Jade. And then she sent me like some things that I can use to make my own. So like for instance, she gave me these little, um, or she made these like faux stamps, which are adorable. And then she also included like these little die cuts right here. Or not die cuts, but I don't know. If, oh, there's stickers. I guess I didn't realize there were stickers at first. And so I could make my own with those. And then on the back here, and one fell off, she made some really cute little embellishments. She had them all packaged up super sweet. And I love these. They're like little snippets, kind of. But I usually make my snippets more like, um, like a, I don't know how to explain it, more of a straight kind of shape. And I love how these ones are circular. I don't know, something about it really changes it up. And then she included a little charm because she said, um, she sent me a little letter too, which I won't read on camera, but she said she mentioned, or she's noticed that I love butterflies so much and I, I really do. And then this cutie. So thank you, Jade, that was so sweet. Um, yeah, I actually think that I may try to make up some glassine bags like this for one of my upcoming Patreon mails. But. Okay, this is really fun. This is an order that came from Little Cotton Cottage. She sells on Etsy, and so I'll have her link below. But um, she has tons of like retro styled um, fabrics and other items. And so I got a bunch of bundles of fabrics. Some are like fat quarters, I think is the size. And then I also got some like five inch squares. So let's just go ahead. I think this one was supposed, to, or was like the rainbow, hmm, I forget. I think it was like kind of rainbow colors, like it has all of the rainbow colors in it. Um, it was for Pride Month. And I loved that and I wanted to support that. And so I went ahead and purchased this. But then I realized like, oh wait, there's all, all these other things that I want from her shop. And I went back and got a second order of so many things. And I don't need all this, but I'm gonna use it. And so here, we'll just try to go through. So I love the different collection of fabrics. I feel like they all go together, yet I love that they're not all floral or they're not all like different shapes like this but they all go together nicely. So she did really, really good at curating this little set, I think. Um, and I believe these are all vintage sheets. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure because she uses, um, or she always has photos of vintage sheets on her Instagram, which is amazing, doing different projects. And so I'm pretty sure, or some type of fabric at least. These are all so pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna make with them, but <laughs> something, something awesome. Okay, now I messed that up and made it all a big mess. So I think I also purchased um, a couple little kind of like scrappy sets. And so let's see here. I forget what she calls these on her um, Etsy shop, but I just like having lots of different um, gorgeous fabrics on hand to be honest and I use them up pretty pretty uh, regularly so I won't unroll these all but I just absolutely love all of the prints so far they're all really nice quality and she had these packaged up so nice gosh yeah I can make tons of patchwork journals or cards journaling cards, tags, whatever. I don't know, so many things, so many options. 
Ooh, I love this one. I don't know. I love like florals, like roses with polka dots. So cute. <gasps> Ooh, this one's so cute. And then you'll see in a minute when we look at the fat quarter sizes, I think those are going to be big enough to like make journal covers, which I pr that's probably what I'll do at some point, but who knows when. Gorgeous. <clears throat> and then recently, um, Lehman from Lace Covered Skies also sent me some vintage sheets and I was thinking with those, I actually used a few of those in my recent journal collection that I'm working on now. Like for instance, let me just show you one real quick. Um, I think that one was from Lehman. And so I was thinking of doing a whole junk journal release using all vintage sheets, but they might be more plain journals inside so that number one, it doesn't take me as long to make them, but then also so that um, they can be at a little bit lower of a price point. So I think that's probably what I'll do for my next journal collection, but it's hard to say. It's probably not going to be for a few months, but okay. So, so the, yeah, these are all good sizes too. They're kind of, I think they're mostly seem like they're like a big strip. So I could also do, I've been wanting to do snippet rolls again. So many ideas. Yeah, these are just packaged up so nicely and now, now I'm going to ruin them. And so let's go here. I probably won't, I'm going to try to not unroll the whole thing. Oh my gosh, like how, how did she even do this? But let's unroll one all the way because I kind of wanted to see, I don't really know what a fat quarter is. I assume that's a quarter of a fabric, maybe a little bit more though, something like that. I, actually, I don't know. Maybe that's not what it was called either. I don't know, but this is definitely enough to make a journal cover. And that was what I was looking for because I specifically picked out all of these um, prints. So there's that one. And I thought that these were really well priced. She has lots of options. That's a really cool print. I feel like that's a little uh, unique from what I have in my collection. I guess I'm just going to unroll all of these. Oh, I love this. Oh, I don't remember picking this one out. I mean, I'm sure I did, but this is also really unique. But look at this. This actually has kind of like the rainbow colors in it, but it's still floral. I love that. I want to make myself a journal out of that one. And then I love these pale, but oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Pale, but also pastel colors. That is so pretty and I just can't believe how what good quality it is. So you, I feel like you can tell by looking at this that it's a vintage fabric or sheet, whatever it is, but it's in such good condition. And I think that she goes to a lot of estate sales and stuff, so it probably takes a lot of work to get all of these um, to be available in her shop. Oh, and then I just love this. Like I just want to already make myself a journal for fall. Because again, it's floral, but it's like all these fabric or these these darker colors. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Very exciting. And then I just randomly, I was trying to get free shipping in her shop. It was like free shipping for orders, $35 an order, I believe. And so um, I grabbed this just as a last minute thing. I gotta let my dog out, but I don't wanna stop the video. So just take a peek right there. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just flip through these. This was just, oh my gosh, now he's just barking away. These, this was just like a vintage paper uh, kind of kit, or not kit, but you know, pack. And while I do have a lot of vintage books in my collection, I don't have a ton of like magazine-y things. And I think I said that in a recent video because Lehman had sent me a couple of vintage magazines. And so this is a good, good selection. Ooh, I just love, for some reason I really love vintage notebook paper. I don't know why. And I love the holes on the side, so that will be a paper I save for myself. But my dog is going nuts out there. I don't know what he's barking at. His little three pound self. Yep, this is definitely a good bundle of vintage pages. I think it was around $7, and personally, I think that's good. I know how much time it takes to curate a pack like this, and everything goes together well, and then just to, she has it so nicely packaged. Like, even the little details where she has the smaller pieces like this, 
I don't know why, but to me, it's just really good presentation. I've been needing lots more vintage music paper. I'm glad I got one sheet, but I need like a whole book. So I'm, I'm on the lookout for that. You know, I didn't realize that this pack was gonna have like ledger paper and stuff, and I'm so excited that it does. So this is definitely, oh my gosh, cool. And even some written. I thought it was just gonna be book pages. I didn't really look over the listing too well. I just, I wasn't really, I didn't care. A really big index card. But uh, yeah, this, so this makes me think that this was even more worth it. I think I just skipped over. But yeah, this is a really fun little haul of things to get in the mail today. I'll just be putting this into my stash of goodies and a lot of these will end up in journals that I make. But some of my favorites I'm going to pull out like... Like I said, I love this and like the vintage ledger paper. I'll pull out and I have a separate file for things that I want to use in my own personal journals. And so I'll keep those for myself. Lots of good book pages, menus. Fun. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my fun little mail haul. Definitely check out this lovely person's shop if you are interested in, any, in anything like this. I'm not sponsored or, or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I'll have it linked below. And again, thanks Jade for sending me some lovely mail. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!